Now we have to solve the equation then sine of x plus pi upon 6 equals 0 0.65 for x greater than or equal to 0 radians but less than or equal to 2 pi radians. So how do we do this? Well first of all what you need to do is inverse sine both sides so you get therefore x plus pi upon 6 equals the inverse sine of 0.65. Now whenever I do trig equations I like to use the quadrant method and if you're not sure of the quadrant method you can always go on my website and look under the tutorials for the quadrant method for trig equations. Now in the usual way this would be naught, naught radians in this case this is pi upon 2 radians, pi radians, 3 pi upon 2 radians and 2 pi radians so we're turning in an anti-clockwise sense. And where is sine positive? Well it's positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant so you need to draw two lines equally inclined to the horizontal here marking those two angles they're always the same. What do we want? Well we want this angle starting from here turning to the first blue line and this is a possible x plus pi upon 6 in this example this angle here. We start again from 0 turning in an anti-clockwise sense to the next blue line so start from here turn all the way around till we get to here and this is another possible x plus pi upon 6. Now the question is what are these two angles? Well if you inverse sine 0.65 on your calculator make sure you're in radians mode what you should find that you get is 0.7075 and so on. So that corresponds to this red angle here x plus pi upon 6. It also means that this red angle is the same as this little blue angle in here. So in other words the blue angle is 0 0.7075 and so on radians. That means that this one here is also 0 0.7075 radians. So to get the green angle all we need to do is turn half a turn which is pi radians minus the 0 0.7075. So Using your calculator type in pi minus 0 0.7075 and you should find you get 2.4340 and so on. Now all that's left to do is to subtract pi upon 6 from both these answers and it will give us what x is. So if you do that 0 0.7075 take away pi upon 6 you'll end up with 0.1839 and so on. Do the same for this 2.4340 take away pi upon 6 and you should end up with 1.9104 and so on. Now we were requested to give these answers to two decimal places so if we do that the first value of x is going to be 0.18 radians okay you just put radians and the next one would be 1.91 radians, rads for short. And don't forget then just to say that they're to two decimal places, 2dp for short. Okay?